Techies, how you doing today? Rick here with Miller Tech. Today we're going to be taking a facility tour over at Miller Tech headquarters with Mr. Lester Miller himself. We're going to learn together what makes Miller Tech one of the best battery companies in the entire world. Let's get right to it. Let's head over to Lester. Here we go. First area here is where we do all the tech support. So when you call Miller Tech, this room is where the call is going to go to. If you look on this side, we have uh, three offices here and we have one office behind us. So if you're calling in with any tech questions or sales calls, uh, these are the people that are gonna pick up the phone and help you solve your problem. And this is the Miller Tech showroom. We don't really have a retail store, but we do try to show one of each product. We have people stopping in from all over the US, all over the world, really. We've had people here from many different countries. And when they stop in, we like to have products out here that they can touch and feel and actually look at. So this is the showroom where we have everything staged. This, uh, where we're walking into, will be our production area where we produce a lot of the lighting products and battery powered products for the Amish community. Over this way, we have some 3D printers. They are our uh, workers that work for us day and night. These 3D printers are production 3D printers. So if you look on this one, these have a belt. So as these parts cool off, it'll move forward, it'll progress, and it'll come off right here. It'll go down this tote all night long, 365. This thing is just printing parts, and it takes them off by itself. So we're doing, uh, we're assembling some parts. We've kind of a seven line set up where we do 12 or 24 on a batch, and those are mostly parts we do for the uh, Amish community, DeWalt, Milwaukee stuff that we convert from electric. And we come in here, this is Roman's office, so a lot of you guys might have talked with Roman if you've had technical questions or needed a warranty, had a warranty claim or something. Roman takes care of all that for us, so this is uh, his little office. So here we have a laser that we're using to engrave uh, some mugs and some gifts for our, uh, all our anglers. We have like anglers that we sponsor, so we're getting some stuff ready to send them uh, for their Christmas gifts. We just got done doing a, a mug here for Hayden Hammond, so we got our logo on there and it's just a token of appreciation that we're going to be sending out to them. We also did a headlamp. We sell these headlamps online but they usually don't have the they usually don't have the name of the angler on it so we laser engrave that on there as well so that's some stuff we do Tyler takes care of all that he knows that machine inside out I don't and I don't have plans on learning <laughs> this room here is where we do all our uh, pallet staging when a dealer calls us and they have a pallet of batteries or a bunch of Miller Tech products and it's too much to ship with UPS. We have order pickers that pick these orders and put them on these carts. So each one of these carts is loaded with uh, products going to each dealer. So this is going to go on a pallet. So these three carts are all picked and ready to be put on a pallet and shipped out. We ship most of our products to R&L carriers. And here we have the uh, round table where we wrap all our pallets. Keeps them safe in transportation. We like to use a black wrap uh, for the first layer and then we'll use some clear heavy duty stretch wrap on top of that. A lot of our batteries, if you get 20 batteries on a pallet, if you think about a thousand dollar battery, you're talking about a $20,000 pallet. So 10 bucks in stretch wrap is easily worth it. It's what we've decided and learned. Coming out this way, these are our loading docks where RNL picks up and everything gets dropped off. These are pallets that are already packaged for today. This is about 10 a.m. Looks like we have five or six pallets ready now. Our average is 15 to 20 pallets a day that we ship out. All these are ready for USPS, so if you order only a headlamp on our website or something small, we ship it with USPS. So those are ready to be picked up. These are all boxes that are coming in. These are just labels coming in. This is uh, UPS dropped this stuff off this morning. Yeah, this is our shipping and receiving area. So this is the warehouse we built last summer. It is 12,000 square feet. We got this machine when we built the warehouse. It's an aisle master. And if you see, this, uh, this articulates in the front. 
meaning that we could get into six and a half foot aisles. If you look at these aisles, um, they're only six and a half feet wide and this machine goes up to 26 feet tall. So that means we can get a lot of product in a small space, which was very important to me. We could have gone robotic, but there's just a whole lot of technology involved. And some days I feel like too much technology in machines can be a hindrance. So this machine is just driven by a person that's very professional and he gets in and out of here very quick and it's been very efficient for us. This warehouse holds 1,500 six foot high pallets. So that means we can get a lot of storage in here. We can stock up for the coming spring. We're already getting stuff in for the spring rush. When you guys want to get out there and fish, we want to make sure we have product available for you. This is our UPS shipping uh, area. We have, there's an order on those same carts we use for the pallet orders. And they just come over here and we, here they're putting them, everything in the boxes putting all the instruction manuals, all the free goodies and stuff we send out, putting them all in there, and these are packages that are all done ready for UPS. And all these totes, we have all our small stuff like the headlamp bands, uh, the little clips, and some parallel cables for the, when we ship out batteries, we'll send these along. Um, so you can connect your 236s or your 212 volt batteries, very high quality cables. We have all our carpet decals here in these totes and our vinyl labels. These are all the lockers where uh, all the wor workers check in every morning. So this is going to be our uh, cafeteria or lunch room, whatever you want to call it. We have uh, cabinets, microwaves, normal stuff. We even have a ping pong table. We get pretty competitive some days. So this is going to be walking into Dan's office here. Dan is uh, one of our R&D specialists. Um, he's the one that helps us do all the 3D uh, drawings and CAD drawings for the batteries and whatever else we're working on. He'll, uh, he can actually, Dan, if you don't mind, show them some of the things you're working on currently. We have this new battery idea. It uh, hasn't been released to anybody else yet, but as you can see, we have three terminals on the top. Um, most companies are only doing two, one or two. Um, and then we have some really cool stuff going on on the sides there, so we don't know. Uh, well, I'm not going to release too much information. We could be thinking sodium ion, we could be thinking solid state. Uh, some of this stuff you will figure out later. Uh, we're just showing you that we actually are designing our batteries in-house. Um, we're not white labeling a Chinese battery like so many other companies are doing. Which is also why we can put our 10 year warranty on it and feel confident that we, we can stand behind that. So this is my office. This is where all the hard work gets done. I'm just kidding. All my uh, team members are doing all the hard work. I just keep pulling it together. So we're coming into the battery repair room or the testing room. This is actually a battery we just got done changing the BMS. That's one thing I think Miller Tech excels at is being able to repair our batteries. So this BMS, as you can see, had some corrosion. Uh, I think the guy had it submerged in the water for too long. I think it's boat flooded or something. But that's something that we can do. If you look at all our batteries, they're all reclosable. Something that a lot of companies aren't doing. They're reclosable and there's, we have a rubber gasket, so they're sealed very well. They're very, they're IP67, but with these reclosable lids that we, we spent a lot of money on these molds, but that gives us the ability to repair your battery. It doesn't matter how old it is, pretty much anything that's wrong in there, a bad cell, BMS, we can easily open it, repair it within a day and send it back out. These are just testing stations that we use to cycle the batteries. Um, it's very important for us to have those. And we get new batteries in, we can do a cycle test and verify that there's great A cells. There's so many companies now. You go on YouTube and you see so many guys re reviewing a battery and they'll cycle it one time and they'll say, oh, this is an awesome battery. This is, it's cycled and it had its, the same amount of capacity that they're selling it for. This has got to be a good battery. I'm sorry to tell you, folks, cannot really test a battery with one cycle. These machines, you can set it for 500 cycles and walk away, get all that data. That's when you can really tell what kind of cells were put in this battery. Hey, guys.
guys. Thanks for joining us today. That concludes the Miller Tech behind the scenes walkthrough. We appreciate all your guys' support. If you have any more questions, if you saw anything today that sparks interest, feel free to call us, go to our website. All that information is in the link below, and we'll see you next week. Well, thanks for watching along. If you don't mind subscribing right down below, click that thumbs up, ring that notification bell. We're going to put out new content every single week, so stay tuned. If you want to check out any Miller Tech products, be sure to check them out at MillerTechEnergy.com. We'll see you next time. Have a good day.